Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Academia School Simulator. In the previous episode, we once again hired some more special staff and in this particular case now we have two special teachers for every single department. So basically they have maxed out whatever their specialist subject happens to be. So math, science, art, the lot. So that is perfectly fine. We also doubled down on a lot of rooms. So AV, music, the library and the computer room, which is excellent. And those are being used. In this episode, we want to continue on that theme and double down on the carts as well as the running track as well and these actually this is something I would like to pretty much redo but it's unlikely to happen at this stage anyway let's go over to our zones and I want to actually know what I want to do first is go to objects and to put in wind turbines down the bottom here and spend 12 grand on that because we actually are spending quite a bit on the on the electricity there so having those in will hopefully help us out as well there has been some call to go ahead and get the renaming rights but there's also been about the same amount to leave it the same as the uh, dollar store school so yeah we'll keep that like that for now and spend our money on as i said the running track and things like that so i'm going to go over to our objects and to put in the running track oh it's actually called an oval track there we go i'm going to place it up the top here like so because what I want to do is remove these water fountains like so. One and then two. We'll sell those. Go back over to our objects and then to the court. And we want to place another couple of benches in like so. And then final one in there. Final one in there. And then a water fountain. We'll have two and then two. Not that we need them both, but we'll place both of them like so. Because I want to go back over the zones down to... Well, remove zones. Remove the court zone. And then put in the court up to there and then up to there. And that'll give us two courts nice and separated, which is exactly what we want. We also want to go ahead and go to building and down to the concrete tiles. Run the concrete tile along like that. We'll probably do the similar thing over on the right, but we'll see. And then we also want to get some grass and place it in here, even though... Even though that this thing here is never going to be seen, it might cause some issues later on. Anyway, that is now going in. We'll also go to zones and to the running track. So is it actually called a running track? It is called a running track, which requires at least two sports benches and a water fountain, which we can fit in. So I'm going to drag this over to the right, and we have got a random event, so I'm going to stop doing that while we crack on with this event, and we are going to accept it, so let's see. Some of your jant is demanding overtime pay. Let's just say pay them what they're owed which is a 90% chance to gain five prestige which is exactly what's happened and it only cost us two grand so that's reasonable so there's our extra court in as you can see and that is fine I don't think a lot of these will be used because only certain students use each one so it's only seniors that use this court we obviously have three senior students but sorry three, three senior classes but the difference is that we, well, it's staggered, isn't it? So it's unlikely that they'll, well, it's impossible, I think, that they'll ever be used because you have three seniors and each one does PE once a day. And that means that it'll be staggered over that. Unlike the music rooms, which always wants to be used. So yeah, there you are which even though staggered is still going to be a problem. But we're doing this just to fill this gap. <laughs> Let's go over to the court here. And actually, no, this is the running track, isn't it? It's the running track. The sports benches will go in like so. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we'll also place a water fountain right in the centre like so. And I think that's as far as I went with that zone. And yes, in fact, it was. So that's good. Back over then to building and we want to place the concrete tile up to there and that's fine. And now we want to put in again some objects and down to the swimming pool because we're going to have an outdoor pool. It is actually under swimming pool as well. So an outdoor pool will go in here. That's actually perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Followed by one, two, three, one, two, three and then finally a water fountain right in the centre that will actually be designated as 
a swimming pool. Actually, what I'll do is designate it like that. That's fine, and that's now in, and we just need to put all of the stuff on there. So we could, if we wanted to, build and have it as different flooring. We've currently got the kitchen tile in there. I don't know if there's any better tile. We've got gravel floor, but a gravel floor seems to be really un... <laughs> It seems really, really bad for for the swimming pool. But I've been tempted to remove this floor and put a different one in. You've got herringbone floor, you've got paint, all these other ones. Diagonal floor might be good. The checkerboard is something that we would normally save. The marble floor could be good, but I also don't like the idea of a, a marble floor in a swimming pool because, quite frankly, you're just asking to slip over and break all manner of things. So... I don't know. Do we want to use like a herringbone pattern? The diagonal floor is, I believe, what we've used in here. Yeah, that's the diagonal floor. Marble floor wouldn't work. Paver floor might work. Um, let's try the paver floor, and I don't think we'll be able to afford it, but we'll see. Oh, we'll have to actually go around. What's that look like? Can we see what it looks like from here? It's no. It's it's not it's not working out. Hmm. I mean, it's probably just going to be straight concrete, but I'm trying to I'm trying to differentiate it, so we'll have to see. Anyway, we'll still use the concrete tile to go up like that. That's now in. That's fine. And a lot of delinquent students are being set straight. Let me check. Oh, only four delinquent students. One rowdy student, which we can put into counselling. Two bully students, one of which we can. And then finally the truant, which goes into counselling as well. So we can get rid of more... We can get rid of some of the counsellors, but I think we'll keep them on staff. I think that would be a worthy thing there. In terms of the electricity, we are now generating 4,050, and we're only using 3,080. That will obviously change as we add in the stuff on the right, but we'll see how we get on there. In terms of the grading of the students, we've got most of them in the late 50s. Some as in the 60, well, 60 and 61 for both art and science there. And that means that not even halfway through, we have already got more than halfway on the subjects. So I would expect this to max out as 100 for every single student. I'm hoping that that is the case. And I don't think it is unreasonable to assume so. Anyway, the swimming pool. Back over to the building then. And down to the flooring. we got all manner of flooring. The stone floor might look good. It might look good on the outside. Let's have a quick look. Just place a little bit in there. No. No, nothing's happening. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Whoops. Demolish. There you go. I mean, bathroom tile is probably the way forward. To be honest. I mean, it just this kitchen tile looks like non-stick. Non-stick? Non-slip. Non-stick would be the opposite. Do we go with that on the outside? Yeah, we'll just keep it the same without having to change it. No, oh, do I want to change No, there's something that's just bugging me about it. Demolish that and demolish that. We need a different tile. Gravel. See, gravel doesn't actually look bad. I really want gravel. <laughs> no, that looks... <laughs> yeah, good hell, go on then, go on. We're going with gravel because the idea of coming out of that swimming pool and standing on gravel is... Ooh, yeah, that, that's, that's, dis that's disturbing my calm, that one. Anyway, let's go over to planning at this point here. Blueprints and to the, mm, to the ruler. And we can see that the length of this is 19... The height of it is 22. So we want to go 19 by 22. So wall outline is 19 by 22. And then straight across, which is... That's perfect, yep. Yeah. And then we'll go once again over to there, down to there. And then the doors go in there and in there. Okay, that is excellent. Right, we're going to go to a building then and to... That gravel. That gra <laughs> that gravel. What about what about marble? <laughs> <I can't laughs> 
it's it looks okay but I just can't get away with it being gravel and even marble there's nothing there's nothing that's gonna work apart from by the way we are selling these uh, bits because it's we're dismantling it you know what the marble works doesn't it it's gonna be so slippery so slippery let's accept this random event nationwide competition to find the best maths teacher it all costs the same, so why would you not? Am I missing something? Enter an average maths teacher. It costs a grand. 25% chance to gain three. But then you get that one, which is the same amount of money and a good maths teacher, and that one. Do you know what it'll be? It'll be based on ratings. It doesn't tell us there, but you won't be able to pick a higher one unless you've got a, like, a really good rated maths teacher. Sadly, it didn't work out. Sorry, haven't we got Aristotle or someone? <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's go over to, I mean, that works, that. I like that. Let's go over to building then and to the marble floor, and I'm going to retrofit this this room with the marble flooring. I mean, they're going to remove the other stuff. You can see we're getting dismantled stuff, so that's fine. Once they're working on that, stone wall, let's go ahead and build this and get all of this sorted down to the wooden flooring and then to the door like so and they'll crack on with that so there's the pool uh, let's just check the delinquency one rowdy student in counseling two bullies one in counseling one in counseling for truant and then also one smoker not yet caught so there you are. So I've ordered the building of these extra rooms, which are going to be our science and art room, which are, well, construction is now underway. Although they've just stopped for some reason. There's our special teacher there. There we go, they're cracking on. So they're removing all of these sections and then putting it in, putting the rest in. Smoker is being caught, so can we... No, we can't. Not yet. Double check to sanitation. Bit of dirt, I think. Two more janitors. Also repair these. And actually, how many workers do we have? Four workers. Going to hire two more. Not because of speed of construction, but rather for going around and uh, fixing things. Because there's probably a lot of broken stuff. Anywhere. All of this has been put in. We will go actually to the floor. Like so. Place that in. Oh! We have someone that's stuck. See that? They're stuck. Right. We have a bit of a problem then. What I'll do. Uh, any door I put in is going to cause me massive headaches. I guess I could just sell that little section and then put that fence back in and hope that they do it from the other side. Hmm. Right. Over to blueprints then. We'll erase the... Well, actually, we'll erase all blueprints now. Oh, didn't like that. Oh, it doesn't like that. Does not... It do <laughs> No, I was not happy about that one. Another delinquent student set straight. That brings it down to four delinquent students. And we can put that smoker now into counselling, which is good. So I'm waiting for that to be built. In reality, it'll come through there, go to that, do it, and then get stuck on the other side, probably. Um, <laughs> nope, they didn't. That's excellent. Seven grand remaining. And we could build these rooms, but... <laughs> We're not. We're going to build wind turbines. Like so. Because, quite frankly, they just make you loads of money. And any spare money that we have, we might as well spend on these to give us even more money in the long run. There you go. Electricity, 4,800. And expenses are 3,000. So we're getting money per day. Excellent. End of day five. So we are now over halfway through year eight, this school year. Checking out our gradings, we can see that 
all of the subjects are over 70. The lowest is 71, which is PE. The highest is art at 77. In terms of the satisfaction, school should be my fun. Nine people have said that. I hate pooping in the bushes. One person has said that. But basically, everything seems to be fine on that front there. Which is exactly what we wanted to hear. Good. I mean, I don't... There's only two bushes in the entire building. Not even in the building. On the map, and it's them. So I really hope the janitor doesn't have to go around and water these ones. There's, all, there's these bushes. They're only at the front there. Hmm. And a goon. So a goon was just standing on the outside and got caught just as they wandered, just as everyone came in. So you can see that we've still got bits of dirt all the way around the place. Uh, 136 to be precise. I'm guessing more janitors wouldn't go amiss. Don't know where they are though. Are these cleaning up? Tell you what, a couple more janitors. There we go. I don't know what the janitor ratio, janitor to student ratio is, but we've got 20 janitors now. And 340. Oh, I want this chase to go on school. 340 students. Yeah, look at that. They didn't even get in the school. Perfect. Oh, they, just, they, might, have, they might have been chased out from there. But yeah, it seems to be an interesting ratio. Anyway, let's crack on with the two rooms over on the right-hand side. So go over to Zones and then to the Science Lab, which we'll place in there. And then the Art Room, which will go on the top. We will do the Art Room first because it's the lowest rating, I think. So. Objects and Art. Also, it's near the top. So Chalkboard is in the center there. The art shelf goes there and then the easels we just put a full row across. Is it a row? Yeah, that's a row there. A row there. Oh, hang on. Let me check. No, cancel that. So from there, straight across. Yeah. Yeah. There we are. That's fine. In terms of the rest of it, Trash can goes in there and in there, and sanitizer is there. I think that's right. I'll double check with the ruler. Got a gap of seven and a gap of seven. Fine. From this one, it's a gap of five for science. So right down the bottom for science. So it's a gap of five. One, two, three, four, five, followed by the microscope. Which, to be fair, we could probably put some more in these days. Put a row of microscopes in. Seems to be a decent thing to put in. Followed by the chalkboard. Followed by the periodic table. Which I could put more in if need be, but... Don't need more in, but I'm still going to put them in. And then you've got the tables and then the science desks. So the science cabinets go there, there, and there. No, they don't. They do not do that. That is a lie. A barefaced lie. Mm, straight across. Hang on. That's just... That's wrong. That's correct. The next one is also correct. Ah! The lab is wrong. The lab is wrong. I was wondering. It actually goes down to there. Okay, not too much of a problem. In fact, it's not really a problem at all. Just demolish that. And remove the zones. I'll rezone it in a second. I think that was about a couple of seconds. And then we'll put the flooring in because there's a little bit of flooring missing. 
building down to see we've got the wooden flooring in because it feels this we were going with this old sort of look older look sell that now the science desk can go in yep that's fine and it's a gap of four because then we have tables that go either side like that one pause it let them crack on and then there's the other science one in so now we have two art rooms there's a goon being chased out right at the front excellent it's what we want to see so we have the science lab and the science lab yep so both science labs are being used but there'll be another there'll be someone else maybe getting taught science elsewhere shall we check so at the moment it is 926 so second period we have no one none from the freshman again taught science we have sophomore classroom 10 science getting taught junior nothing for science and then another senior science so actually that's only two let me double check for the other ones art there's nothing getting taught now music room there's two getting taught so we check the schedule music nothing for freshman nothing for sophomore junior we've got none there ah will it be under art it'll be under art won't it so none for freshman one for sophomore classroom two it says but it's not actually the classroom none for junior and then one for senior so it seems to have worked out quite well then that's pretty good that's pretty good teachers switch every one subject yeah that's fine because we want to cycle through all the ones we can so there's the art room and the science room both doubled up I think the music room though it's you know, art and music is just it just for it classed as art because there's no separate rating for that there's no separate subject for that which yeah interestingly I would have split it up language and maths science art history and PE yep I can get that there's no like hmm I don't know what you would call it these days but there's no like sociology um, religious education -y type stuff that sort of thing philosophy whatever you want to call it there's no uh, language I'm guessing is I guess you would call that whatever you know your country's language would be but then you could also get um, like other languages so that isn't in it hasn't got any sort of tech in so you're not using like lathes and then to you know do all of that and brazing and woodwork that sort of thing and what else cookery home skills I mean there's loads of subjects you could probably add and they might even do that but then again pairing it down to be a bit smaller is not entirely a, it's, it's not exactly a bad decision it's just well decisions being made and I guess it depends on exactly how your you know God, the country's every country varies I guess back over to windmill then so we'll go for wind turbine and we'll place wind turbines across there and then across the top to there so we're placing in several of those delinquent students has been set straight we've still got lots of dirt around the place but we will put more people into counseling where we can only for delinquent students which is fine so overall then in this episode we've managed to get the extra running track put in it's a bit of a weird setup extra swimming pool technically an extra court it's more of an expansion of the previous court yeah look at that so this this oval track looks to be like on the highest layer possible because it not only covers the designation but also is covering these water fountains yeah and we've also put in the art and science science class as well excellent um is there anything we need to focus on then? I don't know. We got double. We got, we got the toilets in, so that's fine. I think it's just more janitors. Genuinely, just more janitors, <laughs> and probably more, more windmills and water pumps. 
that could also work out. But this is the end of year six. Let me go over to delinquency. We now got three delinquent students, three bullies. No, no rowdy, no truant, no smokers. So there you are. In terms of achievements, so we're on fourteen silver and earn 50,000 from cafeteria, so that's going up. So, cafeteria and dirty jobs is cracking on. That's easily done. The janitor router, create 25, or junior router, sorry, create 25 routes in one school, we can easily do that. Queue of five and six students, that'll be done. Uh, master employment, have 500 staff in all your schools, possibly. The doctor department, we could easily do, or I'll just have to hire each, hire a doctor rating, and then just fire them, because we're never gonna have them, you know, there's no point, we've got the, the higher version of that. But that's if we were trying to achievement chase, which we are not, and that would, you know, it would only give us 10 prestige, and then we would follow on to the overachiever, which gives us 15 prestige, which, to be fair, we're on 11 of anyway, so... And that's just time. A lot of that is just time and playing. And In fact, one of the achievements is to fail and go bankrupt, which is, as achievements go, fairly lame and lousy. <laughs> so, let's see how we get on with the grading. Coming close to, well, it is dismissal now, so students will be leaving. At the end of day six, we have... The lowest subject is Maths 85. The highest is 92, which is Art. Which, to be fair, you would expect, because for the Art Room, they have, well, they can just teach it in the classroom if need be, but they've also got Music, and they've got... Music, again. They've got two Music Rooms. So, that's fine. There's no problem there. Hmm. In terms of research, is there anything we can set researching? We could go to sell school, but we're not going to be selling school. Um, that's a thing. If we were to do that, would you want to? Would we want to sell the school and then move over to the new one? I don't know. I don't know what I would actually do. I found that even with the max amount of money, which is what this originally started as, the series is standard difficulty, but with the money maxed out, and even then we were struggling in a couple of ways. But 27,428 is what we get. No students dropped out, which is I'm happy with. I do want to get, at minimum, another two janitors, I think. There's some more. There you go. Look, loads more delinquent students. Yeah. I think another four janitors is the way to go. And we'll be able to get that shortly. Four janitors. Finish off this. Increase, get more water. One, two. There's two more janitors. Three, four more janitors. Why not? Over two objects and then... Monitor's chest to cool out the school. Yeah. Um, that's the janitors. That's fine. We've got trophy cases, so we don't need to put any more of those in. We do need a wind turbine. So we'll put two more wind turbines in. Uh, the water pump, no. We want a motorised pump. And I'll put two more in on that side so there's four more in total brings it down to 13 grand which is you have a rowdy student yes yes we do so that's fine so money has gone back up there you can see electricity generating 6750 which is really good indeed if we wanted we could we could put food quality up, but I don't think we need it. Because if you look at our students, food is pretty much maxed. It's fine. We don't need to do any more. So, what else is there to build at this stage? I don't know. There's a delinquent student being set straight. And monitors chasing goons out of schools. Yeah, definitely removing that door uh, was the way to go. And having the monitor patrol around there. Still loads of dirt around the school. We can see from sanitation. Oh, it's 50 though. So it's, it's actually halved. Which is 
perfectly fine. Delinquency, seven students, so we can, every time we see any student that can be put into counselling, then we will do that. So, looking round, there's probably the little bits that I've missed out now and again. But for the most part, I think we've got that built. We haven't got any windows in, so it's a fairly dark place. <laughs> but the majority of it is, majority of it is uh, put in. I also said before, by the way, I've got this section and this section for expansion. Well, as you can see, we've already... We start here, and you can't expand to the left. We can only sp expand to lot 2, then 3, then 4, and you have to do it in that order. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 50 grand to go up. So we this this corridor along here is actually pointless. We could have capped that and had this bigger. Not that we need to do that, you understand. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4 areas to go up if we were going to expand upwards. Expanding to the right would be prohibitive because we never planned on that. And we've got, like, say... Uh, all of this is either staff only areas or blocked up so there's only this area here where to get to the right so that would be a bit of a problem which is a strange decision because it means that you have to build your facility from the bottom left up to the top right so that's just I guess how it is um, anything else we can possibly do I don't think so I really don't think so I'm waiting for the grading I'm just seeing exactly what we would get. I think I'm going to build more water. Objects. Pump. Motorized pump. How many have we got? I don't even know how many we've got. We have 13 in a row. Let's make it 14. Then up to there. Ah, oh, we can't. Put four in though. Funds are running low, but look at the money. <laughs> the money's going right up. It hardly uses any electricity, too. I mean, they do use electricity. Each one uses four per day. Here's a random event that I'm going to take, and sadly, that's annoying. Upgrade RAM. A salesman offers an upgrade to your computers with four megabytes of RAM. Wow. Faster computers will help students learn faster. So two megabytes of RAM is more than enough. 75% chance to get minus 20 prestige. That's annoying because we've got no money and we can't we can't not choose something. If I had a choice to go, hang on, uh, the accountant praises your thriftiness. So we looked out there. There's a 25% chance for us not to suffer that negative, which is fine. I'm not really bothered about the positive because 3,200 for plus one to all for students for maths. Well, maths is on 92 at the at the midpoint in day seven so we've got two and a half days left i think we can manage eight increase in that yeah look at that that's almost maxed out i'm hoping we can get them all to 100 it would be unreasonable to think that we can't i don't i don't think that would be a an unreasonable thing well i mean this whole farm on the right hand side is yeah i mean i know that they removed the the bit that was originally at the end of here where you could sell to grid, but now it just they just give you stuff, which is what people pointed out. So yeah, we can just get loads of money. So we're getting thirty grand a day, and actually it's eight grand off the water pump and six grand, well six thousand six thousand seven hundred fifty off the electricity. Students is forty eight. So yeah, there you are. In terms of the dirt, it looks to be better. Any students that we can put into counselling? Yes, there's some there. And there we go. And it looks like they are... I don't know if this is glitched out again or not, but anyway, it really matters not at this stage. We could build some more stuff at the front. We could also start to bus in some students if need be as well. Are these all full? I think most of those are full, those ones there. What I might do then is move delivery to the left and ex put the garbage over here. But is there any point? I don't really think so. Why is there a tiny bit left there? See, there's a little bit left there. Or is that truck full? The truck might be full. Yeah, the truck could be full. I'm also trying to see if they use the outdoor swimming pool. I've not... Uh, I can't even remember seeing it. But then again, the same is the case for this field. This field here. At least the you know the art and the science rooms are being done. Are being used. 
sanitation, 140 dirt, wow. To be fair, it is dismissal, so students are moving all over the place, which is uh, to be expected. To be expected. Hmm. Delinquent student has been set straight. Which student is that? I think it was a bully. There's another smoke we can put there. You can see we've got clean cafeteria and clean toilet there, but we can't do that because we haven't unlocked it. Nor did I ever really intend to do it. Because that is actually the... That's like the option that gives the least chance of setting them straight, I think. Whereas counselling, you know, we went for, for that one. Happy with the pool flooring. I know it's marble and you'll be slipping all over the place. More like a, a Greek bath than... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it looks all right. Looks all right. So, end of day seven. Two more days until we're graded. I think we are going to wait that time out. I think we're going to wait that time out because there's still stuff we can build and still stuff we can research. Specifically, I do want to put the name back to a teaching facility. But that'll require a 15 grand. 15 grand expenditure for research. Not that that's a big problem, you understand. I don't think there's any other objects that we ha uh, we could place. I mean, basketball court we got. There's like windows and stuff we could place. Bus stop we got. Bulletin board. We haven't got a bulletin board. A place to post stuff. So where would you place a bulletin board? Probably along here, wouldn't you? Bulletin boards along this corridor. Oh, no, this is the main atrium. Oh, you can only place it at the top. You can't place it down the bottom. I guess I'll place two bulletin boards there. Why not? Cabinets, clocks. We've got a fan. Do we, we place a fan? I think we placed a fan somewhere. Yeah, yeah, fan on the wall. You can place fans on the wall. Not that you need to because there's no like weather and temperature in this one. Medicine cabinet, yes. Pet ball we got. Motorized pump. Oh look, we can place more of those. Let's do that. Um, potted plants, which we haven't got. Although it would be nice to have some in there, like so. Not that it gives you any bonuses. Let's go over to our renaming rights. Buy back your dignity by taking back your school name and slogan. Replace replace the original school name and slogan. Ah, so you can't... You know, we can't actually type it in a new one, but it replaces, the, uh, replaces that one, which is fair enough. Back over to objects then, and to the motorised pump. And we're going to place them up to the end there. And then same on this side. There we go. So funds are running low, but look at the money going up. That's insane. So we're up to 34. So that little row there gives uh, give us about four grand extra, which is exactly what we wanted. No problem at all. I'm very tempted to remove this pool to see them go there. And there we go. Lauren rips some generi with our symbol of atomic structure, omega symbol, a dragon and a harp. Teaching facility. A, A, B, A. Delinquency B. It's probably still going to be the same. I don't know what you would have to do in order to get these... this delinquency down... Uh, well, I guess delinquency down, but the grading up to A and A star. I have no idea because we've been setting these straight. I don't know if it counts as the how, how many you have or how many you have set straight. If it's set straight, then that's something that we can control, apart from when it glitches out. If it is the amount you have, then you can sort of control it because you can not bring in delinquent students if there's an option in the grants and the to-do pile. But if it's the amount that gain those traits, yes, you can control that. Uh, marginally because of the gra because of the goons and stuff and stop them coming in but they gain traits when they're outside of school and that's totally not within your control so as I said I don't know how it is it is graded what I do want to know is why we got oh, I was gonna say loads of dirt but it's only 30 odd so that's fine although the, the dumpsters do seem to fill up quite a bit I mean we could just build up to here so uh, where would it be building concrete tile. Let me just check the zones. There's the zone there. Shall I build all this as garbage? I don't think it's unreasonable. Remove zone. That. Garbage. Up to there. Set all that as garbage. And build concrete tiles right across. 
Right across. I said right across. We, we haven't got the money, that's why. I uh, guess we'll go that little bit there for now. And what we'll do is once the dumpsters have been emptied, whenever that is, I'll sell them all and then redo it. Yeah. I mean, it's not very good driving, though, when you come from the left to right. So you're driving along and, oh, a nice, a nice mowed lawn there. Even, well, it's all striped and everything, as you can see. And then we get to the bus stop and, oh, look at that. We've got, like, flagpoles and fountains and a lovely sort of school front there with the main door and all of these, like, raised flower beds with some plants in and whatnot and then some statues. And, oh, oh look, it's even secure. There's, a, there's someone making sure that the grounds are tended and that sort of thing. And then you just go past this massive bin area. <laughs> Good grief. Delinquent student has been set straight. We can see that. We have now only three delinquent students. None of the two bullies are in the counselling, but the smoker is, and they are hopefully the one there in... Well, they have to be the one that's uh, there. That's fine. And we're getting some money back from placing that stuff there. So, I can sell all of these dumpsters... I'm just, I don't know what happens to the rubbish. I have a feeling it's just going to disappear magically. Yes, that's exactly what happens. So. Trash dumpster. For the garbage then. How do we want to play this? That's actually about right. And I'm going to do two lines like that. And then another set up here. Yeah. That's fine. That's what we'll do. But I don't have enough money for the second one. So the garbage truck's just waiting there. So, year 8, day 8, coming close to the end of the 8th period and onto dismissal. We have one more day remaining. We are very close to being maxed out on all of the subjects. Language and science are maxed out on 100. Maths, art, history and P on 99. We have a full school day to get them up by one point. Although, this is the average across the board. Freshmen are actually maxed out on history as well. Sophomore are maxed out completely. Junior, art, science, language. And senior, language, science, art, PE. So there's just a tiny, that one little bit to go. One little bit to go. And I would assume then we'd get a star rating. I would also assume, perhaps wrongly, that this is a this is a gold a gold thing, gold achievement. But I really don't know. Bronze achievements. I don't know which ones we've got. Hmm. Anyway, finish the basic education grant five times. Hmm. Well, that's just repeating the a bit like playing the game more, I guess. So, janitors are cleaning up, making sure everything's sorted. We now have got our name back, <laughs> which is fine. And we've got lots of money coming in, which I will spend on dumpsters because it is worth it. What I might do is actually zoning. Remove that zone. Garbage. I'll zone to there. And that's better. Yeah, there we are. That's fine. in the middle that's fine uh, we could put another row in if we really wanted to but is there any point I don't think so building no it was objects it's oh it's not under garbage it's under dumpster trash dumpster which will have a row across here and then a row across the top and then that's more than enough for this because even the other stuff was was it was very close let me just repair that one there Check and see if there's anything else that's broke, but I don't know. Says all the students walking past. Ugh, fair enough. <laughs> so a dumpster, we will place that in along like so, and along like that, and that's the garbage. Delivery doesn't need to be very big because, as you can see, for this whole thing, we've only got a tiny bit of delivery for the kitchen. It's a shame that we had to remove that door. If that door was Obviously, it's staff only, but the goons don't care. They're coming into a school anyway, you know, when there's no reason for them to be here and that sort of thing. And it's giving them all kinds of delinquent tra traits. Yeah, I guess they're not going to care that the door is uh, marked staff only. So, you know, having to remove that is, you know, was a bit annoying because, you know, it's going to take a little bit more time to walk around. 
but it's not exactly the end of anything. So three delinquent students, two bullies and one smoker. One bully and one smoker is actually in the actually in the thing as well, so that's fine. This swimming pool here is being used and I'm very tempted to remove it. As soon as this goes to the next period, it's removed. And here we go. We're going to see them use the outside swimming pool. And that's the only reason I did that. <laughs> and there you go. That's being used. Cool. And we're just going to redesignate that. And, oh, you notice that? Um, Ryan is hammering students in the other room. And, oh, no, they're coming, oh, they're coming back down. <laughs> so it looks like they just use the, the closest. I don't know how that's calculated. Interesting. Anyway, in terms of research, we have... Oh, Team Hospital. Q at 506 students. I didn't even realise there was some six students there. We could go to sell school and also expand school population. None of that we need. But, I mean, you know, we could go for delinquent labour. No, we don't need it. The rest is there. We'll get sell school. Only takes three hours to get. And we'll sort that out. And it means that if we do want to sell this to make another one, then we can. Back over to our objects and then to water. Oh, that was made a mistake. It is actually... Uh, it is not electric. It is... Motorised pump. And there's another row. 27 grand. But we're currently on 33,700. And let's see what that goes to. There we go, there's a smoker set straight, so there's only two, there's two bullies left. And now we are on to 39,416. Perfect. And I don't know if we'll be able to max it out. Oh, there it is, that's one's ticked over. We are now on 100 for language, science, art, history and PE. Really? Oh, actually... Look at that, P is actually not maxed out on this one, because it is an average, isn't it? I wonder if... Oh, no, there you go, it's recalculated. I wonder if the maths teacher really wants to be the one that let them down. Looking across the board, imagine being the uh, the principal, the head teacher, whatever you want to call them, and looking at the thing. So, everybody's on 100, and the maths is on 99. You're fired! Nah, I very much doubt that'll be the case. But on a fifth period, some of these have gone down again. Sophomore are uh, maxed out. 100 across the board. 100 out of 100. Junior, not so much. Same for senior. Senior's only missing maths. Junior missing history and PE. And senior, 99. We've just got fire at will. Which we can research. So, Loy handles the paperwork so that you can fire your staff in an instant. Unlocks mass firing checkbox. That doesn't seem to be quite a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but the next one is, I believe, expel. You can expel prisoners. I guess that is an option to control the amount of delinquent students in your in your school. That might be one of the ways to control them. But I don't really know. Don't really know. Yeah, it doesn't look like we are going to max out on these, which is a shame because we should do. Oh, there we go. Everything but PE now again. Even though some of them are not there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's calculating all the time. Oh, well, either way, this is as good as it's going to get, really. I guess the only way you can improve it would be to have it better laid out. Because at the moment, a lot of the time, the students are walking between, obviously, one area and another. Whereas if you had, say, I don't know, the the row of classrooms in, the, say, the centre, and then you'd have around them all of the special rooms, so they only have to leave that classroom and go to them, but then you've still got to go between the cafeteria and, you know, whatever they happen to do and sit in the common room and stuff, so you can't totally control it. You can just, you know, minimise the amount of time they have to walk. Not that there's a lot of that. One delinquent student has been set straight. We now only have one left, which is one bully, but sadly... Their class is free because we don't know of them, which is a shame. Sanitation, still dirt among this place, still dirt. Not much we can do about that. I don't think there's much we can do really. I mean, look at the janitors. They are here. They are cleaning. I don't know why they clean and then stop and then wait. See that? Yeah. I mean, it's getting cleaned up. It doesn't take long for them to clean it up. It's just once the once you go between the different periods, there's so much dirt being uh, put everywhere. 
the fact that you've got even dirt around here. So fire at will, research complete, expelled research is now available. But we don't really care about that because there it is. 100 out of 100 on every subject. <laughs> All the needs have been fulfilled. A bit of food need there, but you have to understand that, you know, it's it's dismissal. Food was earlier. We have managed to get 340 students. We do have more capacity. We can get up to 360. We have doubled down on most of the special rooms. In fact, all of the special rooms. Music, AV, computer, library, art room, science, all of the PE stuff, so two running tracks, two courts, two fields, two swimming pools, two sets of toilets, big enough cafeteria for all of the students, garbage, bus stop that we don't use, we've got the two common rooms there, one's used more than the other, and all of the staff facilities as well. And on top of that, probably one of the biggest wind farms and pumping stations in the county. And all of the other things as well, like the nice little, you know, nice little, uh pot of plants and lockers and trophies and there's Colin <laughs> hopefully happy with what we managed to accomplish on this one let's see final exams are underway Lime Ipsum Generi teaching facility school rank has gone to 134 you've went up in the rankings not to what I would have expected but pretty good the increase is 77 not the biggest jump but it's in the right direction a grade across and total grade of A star. 180 prestige increased. Cash 7,500. Timeline. There's the pass rate. 100% pass rate. Funds going right up. Rank also going right up. Population really has spiked when we got that extra classroom. You can see when the years when we got them. And subjects just, yeah. So this is, the, I don't know whether we had the dip there. That's probably when we didn't have the extra rooms and this is where we did have the extra rooms. And finally, when we got um, all of the, all of the extra special teachers. Exam results, A, 100%. 100% pass rate for freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. 100% across the board. There we go. That has been a bit of Academia Skill Simulator and our generic teaching facility. Council, get an A star, delinquency at the end of your school year. That's another rating. And I think we will leave it there, not just for this not just for this episode, but also for this series. I honestly didn't think we would be playing as much as we have. I could continue on, but quite frankly, the only thing we would be doing is really chasing the gradings. I wanted to leave it on the highest possible note and us getting A star for the final grade with the best teachers that we can possibly get with all of the rooms and all of the facilities that we can have with very good cash income is pretty much as good as I think we can uh, manage. I'm been, uh, yeah, been very much enjoying myself on this one. Didn't expect to get this far and certainly didn't uh, expect to expand this far but we have done all of those things and we've got this far and overall quite happy hope you enjoyed this video and the series all told we do have the option to sell this and to start again uh, obviously if you want to see more then by all means let me know and if that is the case then not only let us know in the comments and also whether you want to sell this and use the money to build a facility if we did that then we would meticulously plan it most likely with the blueprint tool because we'd have all of that all of that money because we'd be able to let's say sell the school and do it that way although i don't know exactly how to sell the school uh hmm where would it be in the reports menu School valuation, so I can sell the school for 1.6 million. <laughs> 1.6 million is probably enough to build the next facility, I would say. Either way, whatever happens, whether we continue or not, or whether we build or not, there will be a break between this and the next one. 
while we do something else. Looking forward to coming back to it. I'd like to see some more stuff added and more content. So we'll see how everything goes. As I said, it's in early access. So, you know, there could be all manner of things added. Either way, thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.